Your kids are going to love being able to control this cool multicolor reading lamp, and you're going to love manipulating them with it. So let's get started. Hi, this is Pete, the Hubitat Hub Whisperer, and today we have a Yeelight Smart LED Bulb W3 to try out. We're going to set up a button controller using our Hubitat Elevation Hub, and then we're going to program some automations to make sure your kids are going to sleep and staying asleep when they should. First, let's take a look at the bulb. Yeelight is a Wi-Fi bulb, so you need to set it up using the Yeelight app on your phone. Once it is paired to the app, you will have to go into your Hubitat Hub interface, go into the apps area, and load the Yeelight integration to add it to your system. You'll see the Yeelight is a very nice looking light, very bright with really nice colors. These colors are easy to control using the Hubitat dashboard or the Yeelight app on your phone. But if you're one of the horrible mean parents like me that won't give your third grader a phone, you can give them control of the light with a button controller like this Lutron Pico remote right here. Pico remotes do require a Lutron Smart Bridge Pro to connect with the Hubitat elevation, but they are pretty amazing if you invest in the system. Okay, so we're gonna show you how to program this Pico remote. Uh, as you can see, this Pico remote has five different buttons on it, and it actually works as 10 buttons because each button can have a separate function for whether it's pushed or whether it's held. Now, if you know what you're doing, button controllers is really the best app for controlling your buttons. You have to know a little bit about Rule Machine to make it work, but if you wanna to stick to basic rules, you can do that. I'll show you a quick example right now. We're gonna create a new basic rule, and we're gonna say when a button controller, button device, and when it's pushed, we're going to choose our Sam button, Sam bedroom button. And we're going to say button number one. Now, the only downside of using basic rules really is that you're going to wind up with 10 different rules. With button controller app, you can all do it in one rule, essentially. So we're going to say that we're going to set the color of Sam's nightstand light to let's make that first one red. Make that 100 full power. And there you go, that's your first uh, button. That's the only rule we wanna have for that. Uh, we don't want any optional restrictions for that. So the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the basic rule. And there we go. Our first rule is saved. Again, if you're doing this in basic rules, you're just gonna have to create 10 different basic rules to program all the buttons. So it's not too hard to do that, but if you wanna get a little bit more advanced, we're gonna go and show you how you can do this with the button controllers app. Now, this requires some knowledge of Rule Machine because basically this is a tack on to Rule Machine once you get this going. So we're going to choose, our again, our Sam Bedroom device. Um, we can name this button controller. Oh, so Sam Bedroom buttons right there. So now using this app, we can control all the buttons in just this one location right here. Now, I know we want to have both a pushed and a held state for each button so if we do that it's going to pre-fill all these different states right here and we just have to automate them as we go now as you'll see on the peaker remote here it has little symbols for what the buttons can be you can disregard that you can program to do whatever you want but i am going to use the up and down buttons to um, control the dim level of the lights as we'll see so so the first thing i want to do with this button controller is have a simple on and off for the light bulb. So we're gonna use button three, that's that middle circular button. So when I say it pushed, I wanna have this turn on. So we're gonna do a uh, set dimmers and bulbs, set which action, we actually wanna do set color temperature for this bulb. This is gonna be Sam's button, Sam's nightstand light. Take that, we just wanna make that at a nice, normal temperature for the room we'll say it's 3700 and we're gonna turn that all the way up to 100 totally done so that's the main button that just turns the thing on so there you go press that button three it's gonna turn on and uh, now I want to make it a uh, simple way to turn all of that light bulb off so that's gonna be our button three health so this is gonna actually we're gonna call it a switch a bulb can be considered a switch so we're just gonna say um, turn switches on or off turn on off make sure that's highlighted right there and this is going to be our sam's light bulb again no delay we want to turn that right off done so when you do that it's going to turn the nice sand light off pretty easy our on off button is essentially that middle button now i can program all these other buttons to do different colors so we're going to use the arrow buttons as you can see buttons number two and four to control the dimmer level up or down as indicated on the button. Don't have to do that, but you can. So we're gonna, again, we're gonna control. 
switches and bulbs. We're gonna adjust the dimmer on that. And we're gonna pick our Sam's nice stand light again. And we're gonna go up. This is the up button, so this would be up 20% essentially. So we're gonna say done with that action. So this is just Sam's night light up by 20. So that's all we wanna do with that. So we're gonna do the opposite when we push number four. So button number four, same thing. We're gonna set dimmers and bulbs. We're gonna adjust the dimmer. Select our night light there. And then this is gonna be a negative 20. No delay on that. Now the rest of these buttons, I'm gonna just pick for different colors that my sunlight might like. Um, again, this is gonna set dimmer and bulbs. We're gonna select a color. What do we do for the last one we did? This was gonna be red. So button number one pushed is gonna be red. So we press that button, it's gonna turn the light red. Pretty easy peasy. So just like that, you can go through the rest of your buttons and select different colors for them, different color temperatures, whatever you're gonna do. So now your Pico remote is all programmed, your kid has lots of control, lots of different colors. You're gonna be very happy about that, but you, as a parent, want some control over that light. You don't want them staying up too late, which is why I like to set a rule to just shut it off at bedtime. So we're gonna go back into basic rules. I'm gonna create a new basic rule, and we're gonna say when the time of day is a certain time, we're gonna say at 9.30 p.m. We are going to turn off Sam's light. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. Deal with that, sucker. All right, now, he might see the light turn off and he may be like, okay, well, I will just turn it back on. Well, we're gonna see about that because we are gonna wait until time passes about We'll give them five more minutes, all right? So five minutes, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna turn off Sam's light. Now I can keep adding these actions to turn the light off as many times as I think are necessary. I also have options to send a notification to my phone when he turns his light back on, or even disable his remote if I wanna do that. Point is, it's a school night and he should definitely be sleeping and Hubitat can help out with that. We'll explore some of those other options I just mentioned in future videos, so subscribe to our channel if you've not already done so. Thanks for watching and thanks for elevating your environment with Habitat Elevation.